Okay. So, you know, I said in the last lecture, you know, that Kant thinks, well, the point of the government is because without it, we will be subject to arbitrary domination. Now, and that's going to put a lot of restraints on the government. It's going to tell us a lot about what the government should look like. You know, for Kant, obviously a government could not enforce things like slavery. That would be horribly immoral. Why? Well, that's arbitrary domination. The government shouldn't allow that if the whole point of having a government is to prevent it. But we still haven't seen how exactly is Kant going to justify punishment. All right. I think to see this, we need to take a big step back. So let me tell you a story about something that really annoys me. I mean, maybe the feeling I have here is worse than being annoyed. But anyway, I have a point for this, not just that this is terrible behavior and you shouldn't do it, but I think that's a bonus point. This is terrible behavior and you shouldn't do it. So I used to, we, we don't anymore, but I used to live very near First Landing when we first moved to this area. And, you know, very near being like a 15 minute drive. We were weren't rich enough to live right there, right? But anyway, you know, First Landing was about 10 or 15 minutes from my house, so I, I would go there a lot, right? Very, very pleasant place, especially in the fall. You know, and it, some seasons you're basically going to have to bathe the mosquito repellent because there are a lot. But it is a very, very pleasant place. And I'd, I'd often take my dog with me. But one thing I noticed, and, and I got very angry about this, was people would just let their dogs loose on the trails. Now, there, there are signs all over First Landing. Don't, you have to keep your dog on a leash. You know, even if you're somehow illiterate, there are these little signs, dog with a leash, that I think you should be able to interpret, right? And, and one particularly infuriating case, and I have to say, I, you know, I started carrying pepper spray after this. I didn't have my dog, which was good, because my dog, you know, she, we, she died last year, but she was an idiot, right? I loved her, but she was stupid. She would try to pick fights with bigger dogs. I don't even want to think about how this would have went down if I had my dog with me, right? But so I, I am like walking along the trail, you know, minding my own business, nice fall day. And this giant dog comes around the corner and instantly starts growling at me. This dog backs me up against a tree, is growling. It's getting closer. You know, I, I finally, thank God, did find a stick, a big stick. And I was going to brain this dog if it got a, you know, a step closer, right? I mean, I don't know. You know, Luckily, it didn't come to that because, you know, its idiot owner comes like moseying around the corner, you know, sees me with a stick getting ready to bash her dog in the head that's growling at me and starts panning, calls her dog over and it just looks at me. It's like, what's wrong with you? Don't you like dogs? I said a lot of things, right? I mean, I said some of the things I didn't want to, I wanted to say, I didn't say because I did, I did want this woman to keep her dog on a leash. But, you know, I actually do like dogs. I don't like being threatened or bitten by dogs. Now, my point here was, who was I angry with? Was I angry with her dog? No, you know, actually I wasn't. I don't like being growled at or thinking I might get bitten. And it was a big dog, right? It was, you know, slightly smaller than German Shepherd size, but pretty close to German Shepherd size. Just this weird looking mutt, right? You know, I don't like thinking I'm going to get bit, but I don't blame the stupid dog. Why? Because it's not the dog's fault, right? It should be on a leash. The rules are clear. And even if you're somewhere where your dog shouldn't be on a leash, you should have it well trained enough that it doesn't randomly start threatening just a, a person it comes across, right? I blame this woman. I am furious with her because she is being irresponsible on multiple levels. I don't blame the dog, even though it was the thing that was threatening me, right? Why? It's a dumb animal. It doesn't know any better. She does know better. My point here is this. 
I mean, part of my point is like, don't let your dog off leash in first landing when there's a million signs that say, don't let your dog off leash, right? That is a moral lesson I think you can learn from this class if you live in our area. But my larger point is that human beings have reason. Kant has already insisted on that, right? That is one of the things that makes us, and for Kant, the important thing that makes us different from animals and other things in the world. We have reason. We are responsible for our choices. We can make choices. But part of that is we are responsible. And part of holding someone responsible for their choices is we blame them for making bad choices. And for Kant, holding people responsible for their choices is part of what it is to treat them as a rational being, which means it is part of what it is to respect them. Respecting someone as an end in themselves does not always mean being nice to them. Remember, for Kant, it's all about reason. Respecting someone as an end in themselves means holding them responsible because that is part of what it is to treat them as a free being who can make choices. Holding them responsible for those choices. Well, this gets us to Kant's justification of punishment. The criminal is a rational being. He has violated the rights of others. He has done something bad. Something especially bad that the government has prohibited. If he has violated the rights of others, he should be held responsible for that and holding him responsible for that. Part of it is punishing him in many cases. That and only that is what makes punishment acceptable. Why, are, why can the state punish criminals? Where does it get the right to do that? It gets the right to do that because criminals deserve it. Why don't individuals have the right to punish criminals? Well, we'll come back to that. But the main idea is, well, look, we need the state to maintain order Part of that is we don't get to make our own decisions about rights and justice. We hand it over to the state. So it can punish criminals and we can't. That's part of the reason. But no one can punish another person if they don't deserve it. That's the only thing that makes punishing a criminal acceptable. The only reason that doing it is not treating him as a mere means. So the general system, the, gen the government and the justice system are in place to protect rights, but they are only allowed to punish criminals because people who violate the rights of others deserve it. If criminals did not deserve to be punished, then Kant would say this isn't justifiable. And that's why, you know, in some cases, like say temporary insanity, because the criminal isn't responsible, we shouldn't punish him. And, you know, Kant would say, you know, in the same way, children or people who are in a more serious way, mentally incompetent long term, you know, maybe we can do something to them to protect others. But strictly speaking, you can't punish them because punishment requires that the person be responsible for their actions and deserve the punishment. That and only that is what makes punishment acceptable. And that is why, you know, paid attention to the first slide, I talked about Kantian retributivism. Well, retributivism is the view that punishment is tied to giving criminals what they deserve. Kant thinks that that is always an important part of punishment and is the only thing that allows punishment that is why we speak of Kant being a retributivist. We can punish criminals because they deserve it. If they didn't, we couldn't do that. That would not be acceptable. 
All right. So in the next lecture, I'll talk more generally about what Kantian retributivism means and what it's going to look like in practice. Just to give you guys a hint, it's actually going to look a bit different than you th might think it will.